Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna have a reading about their hidden thoughts about you. Whoever you're asking about, doesn't have to be love situation, but um, if you want we can look at that too. So I recently recall that long time ago I did such readings, <laughs> I forgot about them and it was their hidden thoughts about you. What they're not telling you, okay? Not just their thoughts, but their hidden thoughts. Something you don't know or they don't want you to know. Or they're just not saying it. Uh, the first pile will be um, this stone, carnelian. Second pile, citrine. And third pile, jade. Choose your pile, choose your stone. And let's see, they're hidden. <laughs> thoughts about you. I'm gonna add some cards for you to choose. You can choose several people right now, okay? Maybe um, you want to see what several people think of you. Let's start. Hello pile one, whoever chose the carnelian stone. Uh, the person that's on your mind, who you're asking about, their hidden thoughts about you. Seven of Wands. They feel um, your resistance in something. They feel that you are, whoever you are to them, whichever, uh, um, whichever way you and this person are connecting. They feel like you are projecting... Um, resistance like you resist either to do something maybe it's your energy that's how they see it. this is the hidden thoughts we're not talking about something you know or you assume this is something they are not telling you they see that you maybe uh, energetically you blocking yourself from uh, talking to them or opening up they feel this resistance and they uh, they don't know why is this happening let's see what else if it doesn't resonate with you right away, just don't, this is not your pile, don't watch it, okay? What else there? There are hidden thoughts about you. Okay, if this is a love situation or you feel some um, energy or chemistry coming from this person, this person be, could hide in their uh, feelings and their passion for you. I have two aces here, ace of wands, ace of cups. And the high priest is definitely hiding uh, their hidden thoughts is about how much they are uh, passionate about you, how much they like you. There could be somebody who's not saying that they are um, in love with you or they like you a lot or they have a chemistry for you. But maybe you are resisting or maybe you closed off from them or maybe you don't feel it's right. Maybe some situation is like that, that you cannot be with them in some way, right? And it bothers them um, because they are very attracted to you. If this is not a love situation, this person, this person could hide how much they um, admire you for how you go and like how, how you live your life. Um, this person sees you as um, an achiever. I just uh, had six of wands and uh, they see you as you can achieve things that you want and they inspired by you but it seems like they cannot really talk about it or they feel embarrassed to say it to you in your face so their hidden thoughts are very positive here but they don't know why you're resisting or they know why you're resisting and they see you that that way depends on your situation what else? Their hidden thoughts about you. Yes, remember I told you six of ones. They see you as the six of ones, as a victorious person. Uh, maybe you are very good at something. Maybe they see you victorious because you literally achieved something in life. Maybe you um, good at some, um, you're professional in something. Maybe you studied for something. Maybe it's about your business. Maybe it's about how you carry yourself. Maybe it's about your beauty. Something you do here that um, really, really inspires them and attracts them to you a lot. They want to be around you. 
but again something is um, they cannot fully um, tell you how they feel or they cannot fully be around you all the time three of pentacles uh, they love communicating with you if you are communicating like through I don't know work maybe you work together uh, or somehow you just communicate they love communicating with you they see you as a very intelligent person but it's it's either it's not the right time or something's holding them by the way let me know in comments what's going on here why there's such resistance here or why there are certain obstacles for sure here maybe a third party could be so this person will uh, might reach out to you or their thinking their hidden thoughts is to reach out to you to talk to you soon or even to tell you uh, how much they admire you how much they care or how much they want to see you they're thinking about you a lot actually what else their hidden thoughts about you pile on wow um <laughs> and the devil at the bottom of the deck okay so look how how they see you and then what they're not telling you they see you as a judgment the star the queen of wands and the devil at the bottom of the deck um, a very very successful and attractive person that's how they see you This person could be very addicted to you, to the way you speak, to the way you look, to the way you do things, to the way you achieve things. I also um, hear they see you higher than them. It's like they, they're not at your level. If this is not love situation or you know this person doesn't wish you well who you're asking about they, there could be jealousy here because you they see you very high compared to them even if they are you see them as at your level they don't they see you much higher it's like the star they cannot reach out to they may also see you um, abandoned maybe financially abandoned maybe you know how to make money and they don't or in general they admire this in you but they're not telling this to you what they don't tell you is that sometimes you may hurt through uh, words like you may say something and it may hurt but they may not tell you this they may sh it seem like they okay with how you speak or what you said recently or how you talk to them you could be kind of harsh or sharp with your words but they are not telling this to you because they don't want to show you that they upset with you or they it's like they don't want to dim your light be just because you said something. Their hidden thoughts about you. This person is very, uh, energetically they are very attached to you, attracted to you. You may not know how much they suffer, for some they even suffer. If this is someone you're not communicating with or you're in bad terms with them in some way, it's like they suffer not being around you. They suffer, they could be jealous if you, um, like how you can live your life without them. Somebody was asking here about their ex, just letting you know, especially if that's your ex. They're missing you a lot. 
but it seems like they're not showing it. They're hiding their thoughts that how much they miss you, your energy. Yes. Uh, for some, they're hiding their feelings for you. They don't want to talk about it. Because uh, if this is someone you don't want, they're afraid of rejection. Depends on your situation, guys, okay? So that's their um, hidden thoughts about you that they don't show. But certain resistance exists here. Or something is not quite clear, right, or uh, shiny in this situation. Thank you, guys. And I'm going for pile number two. Hello, Pao Tzu, whoever chose the citrine. They are um, hidden thoughts about you. Let's see, three of wands. Well, this person, whoever chose Pao Tzu, is planning either a trip with you. They're planning uh, on seeing you soon. They're planning on uh, offering you something, depends who you're asking uh, about. Uh, they're making plans. This person is making plans. This is a life um, situation. This is not someone who you didn't speak for, for months or years. Even if you did and you know they can reach out to you, they're making plans. But for many of you, um, there is some communication going on. They are making plans. Mm, what kind of plans? What are they planning when it comes to you? For some of you, if they're far, they're planning to come to you, like to fly to you, to drive to you. Okay, what else they're hiding? They're hiding that uh, during this time when you either didn't see each other or um, didn't communicate, um, they had time to think. Okay, a couple things I want to talk about here. If this person is single and you in a connection or a relationship or it's your boyfriend or girlfriend, they've been thinking about having eventually having a family with you, okay? Or they're considering it, eventually to talk to you about it. For those who are not in this situation and there is a third party, they're thinking uh, while um, that how can they see you somewhere where nobody will intervene uh, between your communication or meeting. Because they again, they want to talk to you about something. This is something about work related, like business. They wanna, they're thinking about to offer you, maybe to go out for coffee and talk to you about business. They've been planning, they've been thinking. This is hidden, you don't know about it, okay? Or at least not until you were in my reading. <laughs> What else are their hidden thoughts about you?
This person is um, either afraid of something, maybe in the past they've been hurt or uh, something didn't work out and they afraid to make a certain decision and it bothers them that's why they it takes them so long or it take it will it will take some time for them to uh, analyze everything when it comes to you or they afraid to that you will not accept their offer it could go both ways it could go both ways yeah that's why they um, their hidden thoughts are they need more time to plan everything to make it to make I hear to make things right whatever it means to you they don't want to be in bad terms with you if in the past this person hurt you or they acted a certain way uh, betrayed you whatever they want to make things right for some even if it's thinking about uh, making an apology talk to you um, see you somewhere but they don't know how you react to that so they're thinking about it that's their hidden thoughts what else their hidden thoughts about you the hidden thoughts that uh, you already with someone else yes it's like you maybe you already in a relationship with someone else and they um, they afraid that um, it's too late for some they afraid that it's too late uh, to talk to you because you may say that you already with someone else or they know it somehow they may already know it Their hidden thoughts, they're jealous. What if you, if someone else, if this is love situation? Is there anything else for pile number two? This person is secretly admiring you. But they may not tell you how much they admire you. They may not be open to, to talk maybe this person is like you know they they usually don't uh, talk like that like if, you know some people they uh, don't talk like um, they're not too romantic to say certain things uh, so they cannot really express themselves yeah so um, they may not know how to express themselves but It seems like they will. <laughs> it seems like this time they will show another side of them when they actually see you. I feel like they want to see you face to face and talk to you. If this is a job offer, they still want to talk to you one on one and tell you how you know they want you to be a part of their business, of their project. It's a person that usually doesn't express things. They're thinking how to how to make it right. Yeah. So that's their hidden thoughts. I feel like this person is planning to see you soon, to talk to you soon. I'm not gonna say when. This is not a part of what we're looking at. We're just looking at their hidden thoughts. It's a general reading. And if it doesn't resonate with you, just don't take it on yourself. Thank you, pile number two. And I'm going for pile three. Hello, pile three. Whoever chose uh, Jade. Their hidden thoughts about you. Person that you ask him. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Let me confirm something first. Hmm. I knew it. I have two twos. 
um, I felt it just now. Their hidden thoughts about you, they see two sides of you. And they don't know which one is the, the real one. And I'm not saying they see you two-faced. You may um, express yourself in two different ways with this person. Specifically because you're looking at their hidden thoughts about you. One, uh, one time you may be very nice and caring and talk nicely and intellectually, right? And then there are times that you could be very cold or very sharp with your words. Uh, very truthful, very honest. And they don't understand um, which of those things is you. But they, what they don't understand is they all you. There is, there are no, they are not separate. This is not a personality that is separate. This is you, a combination of you. Act in a certain way, talk in a certain way, according to the situation. And they, um, they trying to understand you more. This person is trying to uh, understand you more. What else is here is their hidden thoughts about you is that many people talk behind your back or there are many people who are curious about you or your life and uh, but you don't look at them you mm, you continue your path you it's like you're unstoppable and this person sees you that way that you are unstoppable you um, not considering gossip that's happening behind your back you're not considering uh, someone's failure failure as your your own for instance if you if somebody failed in a certain business or idea didn't work out or the way they um, acted in a certain way or maybe they moved somewhere and they came back and said I failed if you need to move now or if you need to do the same thing you wouldn't say oh I saw this person they failed in this I'm not gonna do it no you're gonna act as you uh, your intuition tells you or as you like you you're not comparing yourself to other people and if something doesn't work for one person doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you so you don't take this as uh, an advice you may look at it and say, yeah, this person failed in this, but uh, I should, you know, I, I can look at that. I can see, not I can see if I should do it too, but I can see what I should do not to fail while I do it. That's very strong. Pile three, uh, there are hidden thoughts about you that you, um, you go towards your goals without any fear this that's the word you like fearless in their eyes you are fearless you are different you are very interesting to them because you are different you have many um, sides of you that somehow strangely work together you are very balanced here don't worry about the candle I'm gonna put a new one so yes this person um, look at that look at that guys pile three you have a candle wax reading <laughs> I see two people hugging and maybe even holding is it like a candle. Maybe this person and you, maybe it's your partner and uh, there is a mutual love here. I also see it as a fish. Look at that. It's like fish eyes and fish sometimes they present a baby. 
could also be a business, mutual business, if it's a business situation. Wow, that's beautiful. So, yeah. Um, let me just light the candle. You can skip this part if you want. If you're impatient. What else? Uh, this is all their hidden thoughts, okay? Most likely they don't tell this to you. It could even be on a subconscious level. They don't have to describe it that way, but that's how they see you fearless. What else? Their hidden thoughts about you. Part three. The lovers. And the ones. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, secretly this person or like they're hiding that they would love you to be their um, partner for life. They would love you to be um, in their life. Yes. Another thing is their hidden thoughts, they're afraid to fail you. If they do something wrong, wrong move, wrong words, they may uh, fail you, hurt you, disappoint you. This person is really afraid to disappoint you, actually. I sense lots of um, respect and admiration coming from them. They also see you as a young spirit, doesn't matter how old you are. But also very passionate queen of wands. Again, you see, several, um, it's like several personalities in one. Again, not two faced, not like, nothing negative. It's actually a positive trait of yours. They see you in a very positive way. What else? The hidden thoughts about you. If currently um, you have, yeah, <laughs> as I was speaking, the hangman at the bottom of the deck. If currently you're not in communication phase or it's some situation is like when you kind of call towards each other or nothing much going on. They want to warm the situation. They want to um, make it up for you. They're thinking to make it up for you for in some way. To please you, to give you something, to offer you something, or just to do something nice for you. This person been through a lot. They have many experiences, maybe in love, in relationships, uh, failures. Uh, if it's a business situation in business and they um, is this because they already kind of used to the way they lead, like the way they see life the way they see people with the hermit and uh, before they met you they thought they know everything about other people but when they met you they realized that they don't know nothing <laughs> <laughs> yes, they thought no, no one or nothing can hurt them or break their heart anymore. But for some reason, they afraid to be broken hearted by you or to be disappointed by you. Not disappointed, but, but like to disappoint you and eventually be, dis be disappointed. Is there anything else? They're hidden thoughts. Well, this person may be in love with you. If you know that or if you feel that, you're right. They grow feelings for you. Or if it's your partner, they do have feelings for you. But they truly control it. They control it with the magician. They don't want to show you 
uh, even if they say that they love you they don't want to show as much as they admire you or love you again because they try to be careful um, due to their past experiences so that's what I have to, uh, had for you today guys that was their hidden thoughts about you let me know if you liked such reading I love you all and I'll see you soon bye bye